welcome back everyone today i have another video for op4 mondays uh and i wanted to try it out crocodile he's he's uh the last leader that uh that is from the new set that i haven't explored and um it was actually a surprisingly uh fun one to explore and i actually a decent leader <clears throat> it's not the best one out of the new set but it's not the worst one either i think um he has a lot of things going on for himself um the first one is that it has access to this card, the Crocodile and the Missile Sunday work with him. And also you're able to play cards like Yamato, which in a four life leader, it is actually very decent because you remove something and you heal at the same time. It's, it's actually a good tempo swing when you play Yamato and it's a body that they have to remove. Very, very nice. And you're still playing a lot of triggers uh, out of life. And so these cards are very, very, very nice. And uh, like when you hit them out of life, all of them. And they all work with leader ability. The one card that I didn't like out of this uh, version that I have in the deck was this one. I was trying it out. Uh, weakness in, in it's an unforgivable scene. But I, I just wanted to see if it was decent. But I don't think you need that one. I think you could get away with the uh, one cost uh, yellow card the combos for 3k but it's basically like a, a radical beam for yellow if you have two or less life i think that one at least two in the main deck could be better than this one because you have too many minus in effects at that at that point and then you cannot like you're gonna lose start losing energy and this is where it comes clutch um the leader ability that's able to activate at the end of the turn you minus one um i mean in, in your opponent's turn if you minus one energy you get to untap the, um, like, you get to play one energy untap. It's very good, especially if you have Crocodile, because you're able to cycle and you're able to keep up energy. Like, if you tap out for Crocodile, you're also going to be able to keep up some energy for, like, a, a Blast Breath or, or something else, right? If you keep up enough energy, maybe a Health Judgment. And it's really nice. Uh, I really like the Missile Sunday. is what keeps the deck together, I think. Uh, being able to ramp early on is very important. So it's one of the cards that you always kind of mulligan for. Um, and then Karakuri was actually very nice because you're a four life leader against something like Rebecca. You want to have something that can gain rush and you can attack the leader like without having too much trouble, right? Very, very nice. And then um, also, I think, um, I mean, you have access to Queen also because you're playing uh, purple. So like the deck was cohesive enough and it was decent enough to where I was surprised to of how well it did. Um, but yeah, I mean, it did very well for me. And uh, let's go see some gameplay. Remember, now I have a patron. If you guys want to look it up, it's links in the description. Uh, I have multiple different contents uh, that I'm going to be doing over there. And uh, yeah, just check it out. With that being said, let's go see that. Okay, and we're going to play against Rebecca. Um, we have a Karakuri, so... It is fine to keep. As much as it's gonna be difficult, not gonna lie, uh, but we'll try. They just meal themselves here. Okay. I'm gonna attack for eight. Now I don't get to do the leader ability. And I think this matchup is going to come down to... Um, okay, that one. Eh? I'm going to do the remaining here. At building a board against this deck is just it's just useless it really is not allowing them to use the ability is probably the best thing that I can do okay yeah because they were gonna sort my guide and they want to keep searching and doing all this stuff it just wasn't worth it.
Now I I will play him though. One, two, three, four. An attack with a big number, eight. Uh, now I will play him. Why not? Look at my life. I'll space it at the bottom because I don't need that. He plays the swords. Okay. He hasn't been able to search with the Rebecca, so that's our consistency here. Like they play all their removal for the four drop, so unless your four drop has rush, it is just not gonna hit. He needs to play blockers, by the way. Now, uh, sure, I'll take it. Because he's gonna come down. He's gonna play the dual attacker, and I have to. Okay. So he plays a blocker, and I'm just gonna force him on him, right? Then play this one, look at my opponent's life, because it doesn't matter what my life is. Let's put this one at the bottom, and then let's attack the leader for eight. Keep dealing the damage. This is just how you have to play against Rebecca, sadly. If they have a lot of cards in hand, they are having a bad time. <laughs> Only enough. That's how it works. They're not able to mill as much. Now this car is annoying because I can never kill this guy. But now that I have cars in my hand, he's not gonna be able to kill my Karakuri by battle at least. Um, I could take it just because, uh, yeah, that could happen. <laughs> now I have more bodies that he has to remove or they're gonna just come at his face. Now he could play the, the seventh, uh, but that doesn't really help, does it? Because what's he going to do? Top out? I will combo to save these guys, by the way. I guess I will not. <laughs> but if he does use the leader ability here... Uh, I should be fine, I think. Sure. I use this to do this, and I'll attack for seven at the leader. And then I have the option to just cycle with Crocodile. Let him go. He's still at a, 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 a like a healthy life total here, and I just have to KO the Luffy here. Well, you can put a blocker to stop me, but... I could just ignore the, the Luffy, to be honest. Who cares? He cannot restand that anymore. Um, he does that, he draws a card, should be okay. Well, I might KO this one, still has a lot of cards in hand. Uh, doesn't have seven, so he cannot restand the Luffy. And I can always uh, hold the judgment for the Luffy, and that's going to be really good. Eventually. Doesn't have to be this turn, but eventually it's going to be really, really good. Uh, I'm going to use the action because I want to cycle. And that card is actually very, very nice. Because now I can take the life. Um, 
Uh, oh, I have to trash one car, sorry. Um, let's do one of the Shirahoshis, I guess. Take it. Um, I could play this. Actually, that's not bad. No, no, no. No, because he, he's going to have the swords. And that he, he kept all this energy up so he can use swords. And I don't want that to happen. Yeah, he, he kept uh, a sword or uh, a removal spell there up so he can remove whatever I play for free out of my life. So definitely not something that I wanted to do. And now we can kill the blocker. Oh, he has multiple blockers. Okay. Uh, we're still going to kill the blocker. Uh, this one. Kill that one. Uh, we could just attack the leader for six. See if he wants to combo out of that one. Okay, in which case I will attack this one. He has to combo out of that one too. We're good then. We keep healing, so now if he wants to do the dual attack, he can do the dual attack on everything on this guy. And sure, that happens, whatever. That is his whole turn. And we get to play another crocodile next turn. We do have a lot of combo power somewhere here. But you can just go all in on this guy. It's probably fine to do so. He should actually go all in on that one. And I'm just going to use my hand to protect it, probably. One of them. At least my... Yeah, one of them, I think. He's going to kill one for sure. Oh, he does. Okay. Kairos. Oh, he's... Does he gain dual attack too? Yeah, he does gain dual attack. Uh, okay. Oh, he's going to do it on the leader. Oh, he's going to just go for game. I see. Uh, use action. Get rid of this one. Um, guess I have to combo out of that one. Then he has to have another one to deal me two damage and maybe I get a trigger out of life. <clears throat> we'll see. That card is very good actually. For 6k and dual attack. Really puts a, a range through your plan. Um, I mean, I have to take this. Oh, he doesn't gain dual attack? Wait, what? Oh, you need to have 15 or more. It doesn't gain dual attack. Uh, I can do this. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> so he cannot restand that one. I can heal myself. But he does play, like he does restand it though. But he cannot attack with that one. So it's all good. And I can attempt to go for game. He only has four cards in hand. There is maybe a blocker out of life. I mean, I could have out combo the, uh, the, the leader. So is not it's sucky a little bit, but it isn't really. I can definitely out combo the uh, the leader there. I mean, this attack is what I meant, and then I can just go for game. I think he should have taken the uh, the more um, slow approach where he goes attack on my two dudes, uh, and then yeah, because he had the the gun too, so he can guarantee kill on my on my two dudes. And uh, he would have been in a much better spot here to win the game. But now I think he just loses. Because even if I don't... No, I'm just going to try to go for game next turn. He played too many of the 2Ks and... 
It should be already uh, short on those. If no, I can just always uh, heal and do some other shenanigans here. What is my opponent doing? Just concede if you're not going to do anything. Uh, the chat doesn't work either. Um, I think my opponent rage quick. I don't know. I think I will take this as a win. Uh, because my opponent seems to have conceded. Just rage quit. Uh, next turn, I can attack for 10. Uh, 10. And if he takes both, I just go 13 alive and hope that that's enough. Um, if no, um, if he blocks out of one of them, I play Crocodile. And, or I could play a Queen. And try to get some more events. No, no, no. Crocodile probably is better. Crocodile. And um, I don't... I mean, he should be able to... Like, if he combos out of the first or one, or second one, I can probably just KO his, uh, his Luffy. It depends on what happens, to be honest. And ideally, I don't... I can just KO that one. But I, I think I just... Probably, he should not be able to uh, survive the next turn. They play too many extra cards and they play too many things, but it is hard for me to tell because he couldn't, like he didn't play. Okay, and we'll go second against this leader. Um, I think we'll keep because we have a decent curve here, and we also get to play Jamato as the top end. I think. And also, we get, we get to play Sanji in this matchup, I think. It's probably decent enough. And we'll take the first damage, and then we attack with Karakuri, and we try to be aggressive, I think. It's not as good, though, to do that. I want to build a board, for sure, before I attack the uh, the leader. Uh, he got a... What did he got with Nami? A chopper. Uh, we'll do it based on what he does. Here. Before I have to start attacking the leader, I, I want to start... I want to attack the, uh, the battle cards first. Okay, well. I have to take this one, I guess. He can do this. To KO the blocker. Let's play the blocker, let him go. I can play defense for one turn, I think. I don't have to give him any cards. He has to show me that he has the bunny. And if he doesn't, then I get to uh, really punish him. And the Yamato is going to work well if he has a lot of life. And I can also heal with Yamato, by the way. You have one or less life, you may add up to one card from uh, the top of your deck to your life. So I can just go to 1 and heal with Yamato and go to 2. That's not bad at all. He has the law, however. But doesn't have the uh, the bunny, which is uh, perfect for us. Uh, next turn I'm going to play another blocker. And the following turn, I play Karakuri. And the following turn, I play uh, Yamato. I think it's the uh, the best option. I'll go to one. Oh, I think he wanted to do it on the leader. I could be nice and just take it. Just understand what he did. Um... A combo, um, no blockers, but I'll combo this one.
I'll uh, play another blocker and let him go. We can be a bit, a bit the long game here because he didn't have the bunny. So now I just have to out combo the leader and that should be enough. We're just buying time. It's all that we need to do against this leader. The late game, we are much more powerful than they, than they are. Uh, we should be able to uh, to advance here. If he doesn't deal damage with the uh, the leader, okay. Oh, he just replaced the Nami. Oh, wow. That's three cards in hand, so. Attacks for six, six, seven is what I'm trying to do. I need to combo one of the sixes and then uh, I can just take the eight. Okay. And double Yamato is going to win us the game, I think. Uh, take it. Use an action to play him. And then combo out of that one. And now we just have to KO his board. Which is going to be very easy, to be honest. Oh, and that... Actually, a card might be good right now. Uh, let's do this one. Look at the opponent's one. Uh, we can put that on the bottom because he's a blocker. And then also we get to draw a card. Attack at the Zoro. Uh, take the top off. The top life. Just draw a card here. He cannot save the Zoro. He, the Zoro has to die. Or he has to let it die. As a matter of fact, he can only save the big guy. And that was not it. I'll attack with this one here. Actually, I should have attacked with the leader. Maybe I, I keep the two blockers. Oh, well. I mean, he's comboing on this one. Makes it easier for me. Well, do you want to combo on that one? And then attack on this one. And then let's do a double strike. Why not? Now it is the time to do a double strike. Ideally, he attacks my board. It would be amazing. Uh, he probably won't. But I don't need him to attack my board. It is uh, whatever. I'm gonna definitely going to do this one, though. Uh, but next turn, I should be able to heal. If he attacks my board, I just let it die. I don't even combo out of my board. Because I don't need to. Now, my leader, I do I do what I have to. It's a one, plus 1k for the rest of the, uh, of the turn. So it makes it really hard for him to push any damage. And if he doesn't deal with this one, I might be able to just go for a game. Uh, depending on what he does. We know this one is a blocker, so he doesn't have any carnival power here. And um, I mean, he doesn't have much of a hand, so... This deck without Bonnie is not the same. That was in the turn that he should have gone for, like, damage. He should have, uh, like, kept some uh, cards back. Maybe he attacked with the Zoro and the leader for big numbers. But he needed to save some damage there. Well, I'm not scared of going to take this damage because um, I can just heal one life. So I will be really okay here. 
I'll I'll use this one so I don't have to yeah the leader on this one put it as a 7k that way he attacks the leader here oh you got him I do not mind but I will attack this one see if he wants to do anything he does not then we'll play the Yamato so we can do that we heal and we attack the leader now and we attack with everything because I mean there is really nothing that I can that I'm afraid of I'm at two live and I have a lot of combo power here so I don't need to keep my blocker here there is no attack restand attack that I'm afraid of on this board you got the blocker there though he took every life and then let him go he has a blocker and not even their best hand can beat this. So definitely, uh, uh, maybe I'm misplaying my opponent to uh, do what he did. Otama doesn't do anything. If he wants to attack my board, that's fine. I do not mind. You'll be saving me some blockers here. Zoro, I mean, he could have done a Zoro attack, like that's three attacks, maybe. Maybe that would have been enough. We know he's not, but so we know he has an Otama, this, and an Incognito, maybe a Red Hawk. Could be a Red Hawk, but he's gonna attack this one, it seems like. And then we do uh, Yamato, KO the, uh, the chopper, and what is left for him. He's trying to deal me the damage here. Sure, I'll take it. Um, no, I don't need to do that. Uh, do this one though. I mean, I can just go for game right now. There's no way he can survive. <laughs> I could heal another turn, I can dart all around, but I just go for a game here. Okay, we're gonna play against Nami. Um, she is definitely a character that you can play in this game. <laughs> I mean, she got first recently, so I, I understand why people want to play her. Um... Oh, he attacks. Wow, that's surprising. Oh, uh, no, no trigger. Wait, he didn't even mill? What? What? This ain't how you play Nami. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, uh, this is a uh, highly know how you play Nami. <laughs> okay, my opponent is just strong, whatever. I get to play her. She doesn't get the own play. Six. I win second. So I guess he just plays for free. It doesn't draw the car. Oh, I see, I see. That is just uh, the weirdest uh, Nami player that I've seen.
He's playing Sogekin at least, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'll keep ramping. Don't worry. I guess I don't... Meh, it's whatever. What, is this Wolf's Return or something? Play... Uh, just draw a card, I guess. And attack for five. Keep developing the board. Uh, let's play the blocker, I guess. Oh, where is it? Here. I don't know what my opponent is doing, by the way. Maybe they have a strategy that I cannot comprehend. But middling is not that strategy. Removing my stuff is that strategy, apparently. Well, I don't have to take damage here, right? They probably played Red Rock too. Ah, but this heals me anyway, so... Who cares? Defended the leader. Hand drop Kaido, eh? Oh, I know what kind of deck is this. This is this is not a, a Nami deck per se. I mean, it is a Nami deck, but it's not a Nami deck that that does the regular thing. It's a Nami deck that's playing the ten drop, so you can um uh so you can um use this card as removal, but it's it's just a regular deck. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I've seen this before. I've seen this before, and I, I, I they're not trying to mill themselves. They're just trying to use the leader because of this card. But, I mean, it was a terrible start, I guess, for him. Take. No, I don't need to do anything here. Um, Just take, I guess. No trigger. This one requires a specific answer from him. But I can just go to one and heal myself. So I don't even need to do that one yet. Uh, oh, I guess that's too many of that one. And the uh, leader can only remove certain kind of like top end. I'm going to go to one anyway. And then I'm going to play this one. Uh, I should play the blocker, right? All right, I'll attack for five. Okay, let's play the blocker. Because they're hard for for him to remove with the Kaido. Kaido can only remove one of them, not both. Uh, that's just going to be good for me. Then I'm going to play the Yamato, kill this one, heal one. And then from there he has to show me another red rock. As I was saying, this is the strategy of the deck. That's I already knew that. Uh, here I combat 2k, of course. I mean, uh, no blocker, sorry. <laughs> this one, resolve. I mean, honestly, I can go for game, right? If I go 10. Nah, but if I fail, it could be a problem. So I'll use this one. Uh, choose this one. Remove it. And attack for 6. I can I can go slower here. He has to remove this one and this one. And do it next turn too. Like there's no rush for me to uh finish this game. Uh no blockers. I guess I'll start using some counter power here. No blocker here. This one. Uh, oh, that could have had rush. I guess I'll do this one. Use action. And then attack for uh, put him to zero. No, he just blocks. Then I'll attack with this one. Then see if he takes it. Oh, he does. 
So now, if he doesn't put blockers down, he loses the game. Uh, use action. I get to cycle this. Let's get rid of this one. Uh, definitely taking that one. <laughs> use action. This two. Draw a card. We get to run back. So that's a free play. So now he definitely has to go for a game. It is not an option for him anymore. Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. He's going to play another Tender of Kaido. So I have to play the um, the Blast Breath here. And then a 2 and a 1. Yeah, I've seen this deck before. It's not. It's not. It, it seems like a troll deck, but it it really isn't. Uh, sure, I'll take. Uh, use trigger because I think I still like get enough value here, and then here I just win. Yeah. It's an interesting concept of this deck. You play all of this just because of this card. Um, we'd like to try it later. Seems like a cool concept. Um, it's different for the Nami that we used to, right? <laughs> okay, and we got to go second here. Um, I guess I'll just pass. There's nothing that I can do here. Uh, we kept because... Uh, we're going first, and we have Missile Sunday, so it's basically our game plan here. Uh, let's attack for six, I guess. Um, yeah, let him, let him go. Problem with this leader is that his ability is really meh for being a dual color leader. Not worth the investment. Oh. Well, let's see if he does something here to destroy my uh, Sanji. Sure. That's fine. Uh, like, I, mean, he, he, I had to get the impact wave out of him eventually. This is just fine. And then, because we have triggers, we get to play this for free. And now, whatever removal he has, he has to outpace our, our attackers here. Exactly. So, we're good in that end. Now, he can have the... Um, the... Um, the A drop here. But that's fine. We're going to just keep attacking. And then we'll play more attackers that we can attack with next turn. And because we're lower life, the Karakuri is going to be very good next turn. Now, the A drop is very good right now. The uh... Oh, but he doesn't have it. Okay, well, we're, just, we're chilling. There is no, no issues here right now. He has Fire Fist. Is that what it is? It will look like it. That's why I play another body because he has to remove all the cards on my board every turn, or I will um, outpace him. Next turn I play Karakuri and Queen, and then just force keep forcing him to have more removal. Uh, three into two. Oh wait. I guess he has Fire Fist, so I should defend this. Because I think he has Fire Fist, and he wants to remove the other two with this. He didn't remove. Okay. Should be fine. I'll look at my life. Croc on top. That's pretty good. 
Uh, actually, we're going to draw it right now. Uh, tag the leader, use action, top of the life, so we can get that one. And then we, we do damage here, I think. Ah, oh, but we attack for sixes. I think sixes on everything is going to be good. And then we keep up the defense here. It's going to be actually very nice. And we're going to try to exhaust the uh, the 6k counters out of my opponent's uh, hand. The 2k counters is what I meant. And then now is when these counters are actually very good. This is the matchup where they're really good. Because now we do uh, Judgment in two cards. And keep up the uh, Blast Breath. Next turn, we play Crocodile, and we are chilling. Uh, resolve. Uh, that one. The leader, and let's do the Sakatsuki, why not? Because now he cannot attack my other 5Ks. He also attacked like my uh, Sanji. I guess he can attack with Otama, but sure. That's not even a problem. Yeah, I got a Garp. I don't think he even got anything good out of the new set. Maybe he did. I don't know, but I don't think he did. Now, you might even lose. Nah, but I don't need to attack this guy. This guy is whatever. Attacks for a lot. Does he have removal for the um, Sanji? Attacks my leader, maybe? Or attacks my battle cards? I mean, 10 is a number, right? 10 is a good number. Oh, okay. Right, right. He's minus 4, so he's actually not that big of a number. Uh, this one heals me right now, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. So let's play the croc, then. Use action. Heal myself. Then I'll attack for sixes because I don't think he has more sixes anymore. He play another one, so keep punishing the fact that he's being greedy. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't have sixes anymore. Uh, let, let him a combo five. I have the Blast Breath, so I can represent double Blast Breath here. Now, he can KO my 4 drops, but they don't matter anymore. We are in the stage of the game where I'm going to start dropping Yamatos. Um, sure, let's use the action because I can get a, a free energy back. Uh, let's get rid of... I mean, Yamato is fine, right? He's not going to attack my lead. Ah, this rid of Yamato. Oh, I let it die by accident. But it should be fine. I just need the queen and whatever I have here. Yamato is not that good here. Sure, that's fine. Whatever. It was going to die to the... Uh, Garp anyway. Uh, okay. Nine. And then uh, eight. Then let's use queen. Let's use action. Uh, get rid of uh, this guy. Let him go. Still the same place. Uh, now we have more less energy, but it should be fine still. Yeah, but then he doesn't have blockers anymore, so he just loses. Uh, I get another blast breath, so I don't need this guy. Um, just combo a queen. 
no trigger and we will win <laughs> all right and for the final thoughts on the deck i don't really think it's a meta contender um it does have some problem like the leader ability is really kind of vanilla to be honest the only strain of the leader is that you are able to play like the two colors that's it uh but it's very vanilla ability it doesn't really do that much it's just allows you to play like cards like brass breath that is basically what it comes down to um but yeah i mean it was still fun to play it was still fun uh i, I had a much better time than like i had last week uh trying to make the other leader work so this one was much easier and um i think it, it like the power level on these two cards is very strong so that's what makes it easier for this leader uh with that being said thank you all for watching and have a good day